Good morning, everyone. Today is Monday of the sixth week of Easter, and these are our scripture readings for the day. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Troas, making a straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with a woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Theatira, a worshiper of God, listened. And the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered us an invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Our response to today's psalm is, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Advocate comes, whom I will send you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father nor me. I have told you this so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, my sisters and brothers, there are some people who seem to really think that once you decide to follow Jesus and do the best you can to follow Jesus, that life is supposed to be smooth running. Nothing bad should happen. After all, I'm following Jesus the best way I can. Well, then why? Why is it going my way? Why did this thing happen or that thing happen? Why are we in the middle of a pandemic? Why am I stuck in my home for months? What's going on? I'm following Jesus the best I can. Well, when people say those things to me, I always say, you know, because it's true, I thought that at one point too in my life. I read those scriptures over, the whole New Testament, looking for the whole line that says, once you follow Jesus, life is a bowl of cherries. It's not in there. There's nothing like that in there. As a matter of fact, it's almost the opposite. And we heard that in today's gospel. We're still at the Last Supper in John's gospel. And Jesus is saying, you know, the advocate's going to come and testify to me the truth. But then he goes on to say, you know, um, 
when I go, they're going to ex expel you from the synagogue. Now, they're all Jewish. They're clinging to the synagogue. And they're hearing Jesus say to them, they're going to kick you out of the synagogue. And then he goes on to say, the, uh, uh, in fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. Kills us? Can you imagine them hearing that? Jesus is saying they're going to kill us. Where's the bowl of cherries in all this? They've been following Jesus. N no bowl of cherries here. What Jesus has always said, though, whenever you're going through things like this or a pandemic, remember my big promise to you. I have sent you the advocate, the Holy Spirit, my spirit. Therefore, I will be with you always in your ups and in your downs, in the good times and in the bad times, when you're sick, when you're dying, when you're, you're crushed because you're fallen out of love or somebody doesn't love you anymore or whatever has happened to you or your children, whatever it might be, I'm going to walk with you through that. I'm going to be there with you. I'm not going to leave you. I promise you that. I will be with you always. So my sisters and brothers, we're all kind of in a boat now in our homes for the most part for a long time. Maybe we don't know how much longer. And But today we're reminded, I am not alone and you are not alone. Even if you're physically alone in your for months, nobody you couldn't see anybody, you're not alone. Today's a day to remember that. So remember Jesus is with you right now, right by your side and right in your heart. Let him put his arms around you right now. Let him do that for you right now. Just feel his arms come around you. Lay your head on his shoulder. Feel his peace. Let it come to you because it's true. He is right there with you. He's not left you for a moment. And he wants you to remember that right now. So you could continue this after the video today. But also, one more point. Jesus says, the advocate will testify to me. But he says, okay, and also you testify to me as well. So here's a way for you to testify to him, even today. You may know somebody who is alone, maybe you're not, but somebody who is alone and has been alone for these months. Maybe give them a phone call today. And you might want to remind them that Jesus is with them, by their side, in their heart. And, and invite them to let Jesus put his arms around them and hold them. If you do something like that, I'm not saying you have to, but if you think of it and you think it's a good idea, then you do something like that. Well, at that moment, you are exercising your call to be a missionary disciple that we're all called to be. But that's an idea, an example of how you can be a missionary example, uh, a missionary disciple today, if need be. So, but in the meantime, before you make any calls, just enjoy Jesus, who's with you, putting his arms around you, filling you with his love, his peace, and even his joy. Have a wonderful day.